What's up guys, it's Mantena here, and today I'm doing another video, and this time it's about how to connect that to that. So basically I got my PS3, you know, and I moved it from downstairs. I was connected to my TV through just a HDMI cable, which is pretty simple, you know, it did sound and um, video, which is quite good. But I wanted to bring it up here and set it up for my, you know, my PC monitor. But there was one problem, as anyone knows, it uses a special cable called DVI. So, yep, that's quite an issue because, obviously, on the back of your PS3, there is no DVI cable. There is only HDMI. So, I'm going to show you how you can... Um, connect your PS3 using HDMI to your PC monitor and that's DVI. So first thing you're going to need, um, what am I going to do this? You're going to need, ugh, doing this one handed, don't judge me, um, is something for the audio and something for the video. So if you get your two things, First thing you need is a HDMI to uh, uh, let's just pull this out. Uh, hang on a second. HDMI HDMI mail. Is this gonna focus? Yeah anyway, HDMI mail uh, to in fact. DVI, also mail. It's not going to focus because I'm moving too much. There we go, you can see there. And there too. So that's for the display. You can pick them up from your local um, from your local electronics store. In my case, in Australia, I got it from JCar, and it was $60, which is quite hefty for a cable, considering your HDMI cable maybe costs $20 or $30, but it's something you got to do. And the next thing you're going to need is this, which I believe is an AV or analog cable, and you're going to need that to a red and white analog out. That's if your monitor does not have speakers like mine, because unfortunately the PS3 only has two outs. Oh, well, actually it has three has a digital out that I believe that's for um, optical, I'm not sure. And um, so the AV you can use for sound, and the digital you can use HDMI to DVI. So in my case, I've got these two speakers here, and um, they use the red and white analog cables, and then this plugs into PS3, like so. Just gonna go ahead and plug that there, make sure I have it around the right way, that would probably help. So plug that in in the second port, put the power, ca power cable there, and the, um, the AV cable there. So that's the sound done, you'll also need to plug that into power and then into the speakers, and then position them somewhere nicely. Um, and then you'll need to plug in your HDMI cable, which I'll do now. Might I say this is quite tricky. Um, oh, by the way, make, while you're doing this, if you decide to um, turn your PS3 uh, on its side and stuff like this, make sure it's off because I don't, you can't laser burn discs on PS3, but it's still not good for your hardware. So once that's plugged in there, then you have to go and plug your DVI into your monitor. So we can go ahead and be very careful this. I have to take out my PC cable, make sure these screws are unscrewed, and that you don't drop your monitor. I'm just going to try and lie that down a bit there. Okay, so you can see there you've got your sort of laptop out, I can't remember what it's called. You see there? The RGB. Yeah, so that's the sort of small one, I think that's 15 pin. 
and then you have your your DVI. Sorry about the bad recording. It's sort of tricky doing this. Um, yeah, and then you're meant to plug this in if you're not an idiot like me and you don't know how to plug in a cable properly. And yeah, and you can screw those in except I don't know which way to screw in because I'm dumb. Ugh. That's quite embarrassing on my part. And then once you've got that all set up there, it's quite simple to do. Um, if providing that they're plugged in properly, turn on your PS3, turn on your monitor, turn on your speakers. Speakers probably won't work yet. And it should show up. If it doesn't, you can always, um, if you can see here, see I have source. If I hit source, if I hit source, it changes what the monitor is looking at. And it just goes back to this. Alright, so we'll just go here now. And you can see that it's working on a PC monitor. Now it has to be DVI to um, SB HDMI to DVI because they're the same input type, they're both digital. Now, in order to get your sound to work, you're going to need to go into here, I think. Is it here? No. Here. Yes, here we go. Your audio output settings. And then you choose what you've done. Now you can either choose the optical digital, the HDMI, or your analog cables. So in our case, uh, because the HDMI is for a monitor only, you would not select HDMI. Um, last time I checked, I don't think we put in an optical or digital cable. So that must leave the analog, the red and white. And then that there. So that's our choice. So we select that one. And we hit enter. And then our sound should work. So if we go and turn up the sound a bunch, maybe a bit more, so you can hear. There you go. You can hear the sound. And um, there is my um, tutorial on how to connect your PS3 to your PC monitor with sound and with um, with your monitor as well. Your cables don't have to be all over the place like mine. You can make it a little neater. Um, and so that's a great way to do it. So yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoyed my tutorial. And if you did, please uh, smack that like button and um, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Oh, that's not good. Um, and yeah, tell me if I did anything badly or if I need to do anything not so good, which I doubt because this is quite horrible. But you get the idea, so you should be able to do that. Um, I'll put a link in the description to where I got mine. So, you know, if you're Australian or I don't know if you can buy them online. But yeah, and if you want to add me on PS3, my name is Tactic Demise, so feel free to do that. And um, yeah, so that concludes my video. Uh, this is Mantana, signing out.